So, while I'm at Bitcoin, I would also like to play Minecraft. I have this laptop. That's my personal use laptop that I use for uh, typing at school or college because I use my laptop as my uh, as my notebook. <laughs> There's no better word to describe it. And I had built this uh, other machine. This is a Pentium D machine that I built for the same purpose. Uh, and yes, it's, uh, it sucks to play Minecraft on a fucking Pentium D. I was trying it um, with Optifine. It actually runs... Ex Pretty well, actually, for a Pentium D. But still, I would like something better. So, in case you uh, never heard of Minecraft for, for Windows 10, it's essentially the Xbox version running under Windows. And I find that this version of the game absolutely fantastic. So first, um, I would like to show you what uh, the Java edition of Minecraft runs like on this machine. This is a first-generation Core i5 with 8GB of RAM and the standard... Uh, Intel HD graphics, whatever it comes with. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how Minecraft Java runs on this machine. Look at this. Yeah. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is how it runs. And after a while it could get better, but the lag is never going to go away because the graphics card sucks ass and because the code is running on a on a Java virtual machine that makes it suck ass even more now let's do the following let's open Minecraft or Windows 10 and I'll share you even with the controller because a friend of mine borrowed me his uh, Xbox con Xbox controller and it's a fantastic thing to play games with and go I'm even going to create a new world just to show you how the game runs and uh, I bet you'll be impressed. Okay, new, create new world, create. Just just take a look, pay attention closely to how Minecraft for Windows 10 runs. There. It's already at 60 FPS and there's no lag whatsoever. And uh, I, I believe that if I, was, if I wasn't on the go and I wanted to play some Minecraft, this would be a good freaking reason to upgrade to Windows 10. Um, and sadly, since I formatted the system yesterday with Windows 10 on a uh, new hard drive, I had to install the, uh, the, the Creators up Update, which is like 4 gigabytes, and it's no big deal to download 4 gigabytes on my internet because it's like 30 megabit fiber. But it literally took two hours to download four gigabytes from Microsoft servers. I mean, what the hell? This computer had to sit there and sit there and sit there downloading things from this shitty Microsoft server. And then it took another hour to install. That pissed me off a lot. But here, we, here you go. This is how Minecraft for Windows 10 runs. And I'm going to show you the, the settings that we got here. View ball being turned on, fancy graphics, fancy leaves, beautiful sky, smooth lighting, full screen is not turned on, but I could. Render distance, six chunks, but I could go up to eight, and nothing would change. It, it would still play just like it, uh, it normally plays, with no lag whatsoever. So, um, if you never tried uh, Minecraft for Windows 10, I bet you uh, you have a good reason to try it out now. If you if you have a crap top that barely barely runs the the Java version, give the uh, the Windows 10 edition version a try. Uh, during the beta back in 2015, if you had original Minecraft, you could you could redeem a code for this game. Now you have to purchase it again, which is like 26 dollars. And in my opinion, Microsoft is killing the Java version anyway, so you better start using this version of the game. Uh, it sucks. For example. Um, you had uh, free texture packs on normal Minecraft. Here you have to pay for texture packs. You have to buy in-game credit credits. And uh, you have a whole series of microtransactions where you can buy characters, uh, custom packs. And uh, uh, one, of the, one of the most famous texture packs ever for Minecraft was the uh, Sfax Pure BD Craft. Now you have to pay like, uh, I don't know, a dollar or two dollars just to have that texture pack. So yeah, it's sort of good for these developers because now they're not creating things for free. But at the same time, now we have now we're having to pay for stupid things like this. Anyway, if you haven't if you haven't uh, 
given Minecraft for Windows 10 a try, please do. It's worth a while, and uh, you'll be hard pressed by the performance of this game. And I would believe that this game is performing like it should. Um, next week, I might bring you a video of this of this game running on a Pentium 4 with uh, with an old ass graphics card, just to show in contrast with this with this game how just how well optimized this game really is. And uh, I bet it should be well optimized um, because you know it's running on on the Xbox currently. Not that the Xbox is as weak as this computer, not at all. The Xbox One, the original one, is actually still quite powerful, running. Uh, Basically, a Radeon 5570, which would be able to run the Java version quite well. But uh, enough, enough ramble. This is Minecraft for Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel because every week... I, I'm trying to bring a new video every week, so I'm preparing uh, vi videos ahead and scheduling them. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.